All right, guys, I'm uh, headed into the gym now. About to go work out and do my weigh-in for the week. So I get to let you guys know how many pounds I lost this week. So once I get inside, I'm going to get on scale and I'll let you guys see where I'm at. So as you saw there, I weighed in this week at 441.8 pounds. So that's a loss of about five pounds from last week. So that just gets me back on track from the game that I had last week of a pound and a half. So this week I dropped five pounds. So I'm back on track, doing everything like I need to do. I had a good week. Um, I'm actually going to do some cardio after my workout, and I'm going to take that a little bit for you guys, and I'll just talk to you about what, how my week went. And, um, health issues with my shoulder and just some other things went on this week so uh, if you don't want to have don't have the time or don't want to watch that the rest of that you don't have to but if you're interested I'm just gonna add that to the end of this uh, thanks for watching my way in and I'll see you guys next week all right guys so I just finished my, uh, my lift and workout I just got on the uh, elliptical machine which is my favorite cardio machine by the way I'm um, getting off for like 45 minutes I just started uh, level 13 right now so let's give you a glimpse of what my screen looks like no I don't think you can read that no you can't see that but just started so whew. I'm just going to talk to you guys for a minute about my week um, I was having shoulder issues at the beginning of the week so I took it really easy on my shoulder as far as lifting goes um, I know it was cause I was doing too much shoulder work uh, in my routine, so I cut out some of that. And uh, it's been feeling better this week, so, so far. Um, this is my last week in this uh, phase, or in the stage, stage two. So this will be my last week of heavy lifting uh, before I go into a month, four weeks of uh, high intensity uh, cardio and plyometrics and pretty much if you want to look at it long story short it's like four weeks of aerobic work in the gym with weight so that'll start next week uh, for my diet went last week it went really well um, if you haven't seen my shop talk where I went to the grocery store and I was talking about you know just picked up a couple things I just got back to the basics you know brown rice chicken uh, for the most part you know cooking all my food keeping my sugar low and just you know pretty much just watching what I eat so I lost five pounds this week so I'm happy with that so I got back on track so this week same thing you know sticking to the basics uh, I'm not trying to be too cute on my diet um, yeah a lot of questions I get asked a lot it's like you know they see people if you got my, my fitness pal they see what I eat and uh, people wonder how I can eat that much food and you know still lose weight and all that but a big part of it is that I exercise five or six days a week so that's a big part of getting cardio in of course um, but if you look at what I eat there's a lot of whole foods and so what I mean by whole foods is like foods that I prepare um, big key to losing weight believe it or not uh, is cooking your own food at home I mean that lets you control what you're what you're putting into your food you know um, if you go to restaurants all the time, and uh, yeah, even if they have the calories on it, um, I actually work as a cook now, so I can tell you that what you're getting, uh, what that calorie count says, is not really going to be accurate. Because I mean, there's added fat and butter that, that I know that's not getting accounted for in those macronutrient, those calorie totals. So that is something to think about. So when you cook it at home, you're able to control you know what you're putting in your food so that, that to me that's been a key and I noticed that when I go out and I eat food there's gonna be a lot more salt in it so my body's gonna retain more water there's gonna be more fat that I won't be able to account for so I just have to keep in mind uh, another thing I want to talk about is free advice at the gym 
and uh, <laughs> you can already tell this verse is gonna go. Um, you know, people coming up to you and like I get off of mine. You're someone I know, and I've been talking to you for a while, and we kind of bring up things. And you're like, hey, I'm trying this, I'm trying that, you know. But for someone I don't know to come up and try to give me some tip or you know something, I example okay the first this guy I've seen him a couple times and uh, first time you know he's like hey you keep checking your calories like yeah I use my fitness pal and you know he tried to explain to me how to track calories and do all that like I'm an idiot or something and uh, and like, I'm, I'm a nice guy so of course I'm gonna be nice to you the first time so today I guess he sees my bottle and I guess he read somewhere that blue 2 4 causes cancer or something like that and I just kind of laugh because it's like, I mean, so I should just believe what you say because you say it, because you read it somewhere. That's another issue, but the whole issue is like, if you're at the gym, don't be giving people advice if they're not asking for it. It just makes you look, it just makes you look like a D-bag, you know, for the most part. It just makes you look obnoxious, like you're a know-it-all. and. And especially if I didn't ask for it, like you just come out of nowhere. I don't even see you coming. Like, when well, you're just sneaking around the corner, just waiting to catch me, you know, doing something that you didn't approve of. I mean, I don't come up to other people and tell them what they're doing wrong or give them advice if they're not asking for it. So, I don't feel like anybody should do that. And if you're watching this video and you're one of those people, then I would suggest you stop. And if you're watching this video and you know what I'm talking about, then you can agree and you can like this. So, and appreciate what I'm saying. Well, I know. The only reason I'm talking about this now because I didn't have this problem. You know, I've been going here for like since last July. And I've never really had that problem with people coming up to me and saying, you know, usually it's like, hey, keep up the good work, good job. But give me advice when I don't ask for it, especially if I don't know you. Like, cut that stuff out so I was nice about it the first I, I, I gave him a second time but if he does it again I have to give him this disclaimer hey I don't come up to you giving you advice and I appreciate it if you didn't do the same thing I understand you're trying to help me out but I got this under control man so there you go so that's what exactly what I'm gonna say so if you agree with me on that let me know <sighs> just had to get that out this kind of irritated me today, but anyways, I should be happy. I lost five pounds this week. You know, I got my cardio going. Uh, there's supposed to be some more snow coming in Tuesday, Wednesday, so I'm supposed to get 10 inches starting tonight. So some more snow, more shoveling to do, more, more cardio. So, anyways, I'll let you guys go. Thanks for watching the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.